Hi guys! Kelly here at the Children's Museum and I'm here to show you a super fun art project that you can do at home. So we're going to be making mobiles out of clothes hangers and you can hang them up outside or around your house. So I have here my clothes hanger. This one's a metal one. If you just have a plastic one, that's okay. And then I just went around and gathered some materials. Now you can go around your house and just see what you can find. Maybe you could go in the backyard and find some cool pine cones or leaves. I found some eucalyptus leaves. So I'm gonna use some of these. Um, I also found some strips of fabric. And I think these will look really cool hanging. Maybe you have an old t-shirt that you could tear up in the little strips. Or maybe you have some fabric around. I also raided the recycling and got some super cool little pieces of cardboard here that I'm gonna decorate. So maybe you have something in your recycling that you could use. Um, and then I have just some tools to help me build my mobile, some scissors, a hole puncher. Now, if you don't have a hole punch at home, that's okay. You could probably ask a grown-up to help you use some scissors to cut holes and things. Um, I have some markers I'm going to use to decorate, some paint, and if you don't have paint, that's okay. Um, I also have some yarn and some thread. Now, if you have any kind of string, that's going to work. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I have a metal clothes hanger, I want to make it into a different shape. So I'm gonna grab the bottom here and pull with my super big muscles and turn it into a cool diamond shape. And then next thing I'm gonna do is start to decorate some of my materials with my paint and my markers. So let's see what I come up with. Okay, so now I've gotten some of my pieces and decorated them. I used markers to draw on my pieces of fabric and I painted my leaves and I also painted my pieces of cardboard and cut them into fun shapes. So now what I'm gonna do is use my hole puncher or scissors to punch some holes so they're ready to hang up. So I'm gonna punch a hole here, punch a hole through this one, this one, and then do the same thing for my leaves now. My leaves are pretty delicate, so I'm gonna be extra careful. Ooh. And this is gonna get them ready to use my yarn and thread to attach them to my mobile. Just three more left. One, two, and three. Now, for my pieces of fabric, I'm not gonna punch holes through them because I'm just going to tie them on and I'm going to do a type of tie where I find the middle by putting the two ends together and then I'm going to attach it to my clothes hanger by making a loop and then pulling the two ends through like that. Okay, so I've attached my pieces of fabric and already have a pretty fun fluttery mobile. 
Um, if you just wanted to keep doing this, this is super fantastic, but I have these other materials here. So what I'm doing with the leaves is I've taken a piece of thread and cut it to, you can cut it to whatever length you want. And then I put one end through my hole punch in my leaf tie a little knot to tie it off. And then, ooh, it's tricky with thread sometimes, but I bet you can do it. So I tie that on one end, and then I'm gonna take the other end and tie another leaf. And you can do this with anything. It doesn't have to be a leaf, it could be whatever you found at your house to make um, your mobile with. But it's gonna allow us to do that same method where we're creating a loop and pulling the other two ends through. And then I can have them hanging at different lengths. Um, and I like the way that that looks. So I take the middle in one hand, I'm gonna choose where I want it on my mobile, maybe. How about right here? And I take the loop and then pull the leaves through pretty carefully here and then pull it so it's looped on there. And I'm gonna do the same thing with these other pieces to add some fun natural elements to my mobile. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, so you might actually have to stand up now because if your mobile is anything like mine, as you're tying things on, it's getting really long. So this is what it's looking like so far and you can see I actually rearranged some stuff. So you could do that too as you start um, building it. You might decide that you want things in different places. So I moved my Peace and love down to the bottom, and then I have my waves and my sun here, and then my leaves dangling down. So I decided it was gonna be easier to do this on the table so I could arrange my pieces and see where I wanted them before I tied them on. So I think I'm gonna put my heart here in the middle, and these other two shapes just on the side of it. And remember, it's gonna be hanging in the air, so these pieces are gonna be moving around. And that's why I actually painted both sides. Um, so whatever you're using to make your mobile, maybe think about how we're gonna be looking at both sides of it. It's gonna be three-dimensional and moving in the wind. Um, so I am just gonna tie these on. <laughs> Okay guys, this is our final reveal of our mobile. I've tied all of my yarn pieces on and I'm ready to hold it up and see what it looks like. Here we go. Careful things don't get too tangled here. Mine is long, so I have to stand up. But here we go, da 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 da. Super fun and exciting. And I realized after I made it that I made a mobile of things that I love. I have the ocean in here, the sunshine, peace and love, and some leaves from the trees because I love trees and I also love to paint. So I hope that you can also make a mobile of things that you love. This is a wonderful time to surround yourself with things that make you feel good and things that you love. And I hope you have fun. Get creative. Bye.